WCTV Pinpoint Weather with meteorologist Rob Nukatola. Well, good morning, everybody. Radar picture in our immediate area is pretty clear. I do see some showers and storms off to the west over near Destin. We've got a couple of stronger thunderstorms right now that we'll certainly be watching as these try to advance east. They're moving maybe just a little bit east of north, so things to watch, but I think a few hours away, and that hopefully means our morning commute goes by dry before we start to bring in those rain chances, which likely stick around for a lot of the afternoon, this evening, tonight, and tomorrow. Doesn't mean it's going to rain from start to finish, but what it does mean is a really good chance, no matter where you are, to get wet and probably multiple times as our day goes on. Now, it's starting off very warm. I mean, it's April. We're supposed to be back near 50 to get started instead. Got some spots up near 70. It's 67 in Tallahassee this morning, 66 in Valdosta. We're at 63 in Thomasville, way warmer than normal. Made it to 85 yesterday afternoon. Not record levels. Got to get up over 90 for that, and I don't see that happening. But I do think we're going to see a lot more numbers that start with an 8 for highs this week. Rainfall, we're still 7 inches plus behind schedule for 2019. We need some more rain out there. I think today, tonight, tomorrow, our next best chance. Then maybe things dry up at least a little bit for a couple of days, and that'll be a nice break after four or five days of unsettled. 68 right now at Bainbridge and at Mariana. 69s for Carabelle and for Apalachicola. It's 67 in Cross City. It's 64 for us in Moultrie. Got a couple of spots where the visibility is reduced a little bit, but most areas better than three miles. Patchy fog, we'll call it this morning, not widespread dense fog. We are looking west for these showers for this energy. And if we can get some decent showers this morning before the main batch gets here this afternoon, this evening, tonight, well, maybe then we can limit the potential for the dangerous storms. What, what can happen is if you get some of those early during the day showers, you sort of actually stabilize and cool the air a little bit. If we were to keep the showers out of the picture most of the day today, even get some sunshine, what you do there is you're adding extra instability, and that could flare up those bigger storms later. So it wouldn't be a bad thing if we got some earlier showers today to maybe calm down some of that potential energy for some of those bigger storms later on. So we got things to watch today. It's all got to do with this energy that's near East Texas that's going to work its way east and drag a boundary through our area, but very slowly. And by very slowly, I mean it probably takes all the way into Tuesday afternoon for it to get through. And that means we're going to keep some shower chances in the mix at least into Tuesday afternoon. But I think our best chances to get wet are going to be much later on this afternoon, tonight, and guys, into the day tomorrow.